Hi everyone, just wanted to post a quick video update of my uh, shed project here. So, anyway, this is the, uh, the grow area. Here's some basil, some uh, random something or other from a vegetable, mixed vegetable packet. This is my kale. There's some green onions in the back. Uh, there's just some lettuce here growing up. Um, and I just finally got the beds all equalized, but here's my control valve set up. So here's my fish tank. Let's start with this. And I have a whole bunch of uh, feeder goldfish in here. And they're uh, gonna quiet the water down so you can see it. You can see all of them in there. They're anywhere from about four inches long to eight or nine inches long. They're pretty big. They're down near the bottom, and so this is about it's about two and a half, three feet down. So, and uh, I should plug this up one time. So, uh, so then what happens is that there's a bottom drain on the the tank. And then it goes over here into this, this is the settling tank. And in the settling tank, the input's lower than the output, so all the junk ends up going down to the bottom and settles. And then mostly clean of debris travels over into this tank. And this here is the uh, biofilter tank. And this tank is just uh, uh, gravel, rock. That sort of stuff uh, over, but there's a T piece at the very bottom, and it sort of branches off, and uh, there's some fabric covering it to keep the sand from getting in. But this is gravel and sand and rocks and stuff. But then this pipe over here, um, it's hard to see because it's dark and I don't have a light, but uh, this pump back here is sitting on top of a pipe, and that pipe goes down into the rock and so it's drawing the water from below the rock and gravel and then it pumps it up here and through this black hose up into my valve contraption here uh, this goes to the left middle right this is the turn return to the tank right now um, I bought a new pump and it's a little more powerful than I think I bargain for at the moment so I had to turn the beds down because they weren't uh, the input was exceeding the output and so or equal to the output and so they never really quite would finish their their drain closure so uh, uh, anyway I have uh, these are all uh, bell siphons um, I'm using just one inch uh, exhaust tubes to come and dump back in the tank. All of the terminations are all lazy in here and locked in whenever I felt like it, so they're not really connected. But they all have uh, they all have some Venturi siphons, which are uh, is this this piece up here. So there's one up here that's kind of working pretty well. Um, so the water rush is passed, and the idea is that the change of direction. And uh, you're traveling over, and now the other end looks like this also, this uh, 45 or so, sort of snippet. And uh, you face that away from the water stream, uh, just like this upside down. And, uh, and then it'll pull in all the oxygen from it, so when I plug I'm up here and I plug it up, here it gets quiet. All the extra bubbles, so that all that extra, I'm using all the water velocity I have to its full advantage in all the cases I can. And uh, except on the grow bed, I was thinking about doing that, but um, so anyway, you can see the water level rising over here on this bed. Um, this bed has uh, I need to put a little bit more material in it so if the water level comes up too high. This one's pretty good. Uh, see how the top level is dry, um, but if you were to go down a little bit, it'll be wet, and that's kind of what you want. But I had some trouble with the length of the 
inner pipe on these guys. And they change a little bit too when you put material in here. So, um, But as you can see, it comes up a little too high. Oh, but it's not too bad. And then it goes back down. I pushed it down as far as I could. So that helped with quite a lot, it looks like. And you can hear that siphon. There's actually two of them going. There's this one right here. And then there's another one on the far side. So, uh, so anyway, and then this, uh, this light I have here, this long one, uh, that was from Home Depot. It's got four T5 uh, fluorescents in there, so it's 200 watts. Um, and then this guy up here um, is the same kind of configuration. It's also 200 watts. Um, but you can see it's compact, so uh, kind of I just have that over the center. Um, the kale loves it in here, loves it. Uh, the lettuce looks like it loves it also. Um, once those, uh, once it started actually growing, it, it they were stalled at this sort of stage for a long time, or or this stage even, and then all of a sudden a couple leaves came up, and then it just shot up. So uh, I guess it just got enough to get its root system, or get it. Get it to cook so it could collect some light for the roots and let the roots go to go to town. Uh, and then way in the back are the green onions. Um, I have the center bed working first, I guess if you can, can't tell. And this bed I had working too, but I had some trouble with it. Uh, but now it looks like it's working a lot better. And uh, this bed, you can see it's getting close to where it's gonna. Uh, and this basil, well, this was uh, one of those from the grocery store, the living basil plants, and it was this kind of scrawny, you know, looked like all of them together, it looked about as lush as this one here, and and uh, it loves it in here, I just dropped it in and it took off like champ, so I stuck it over here, it was kind of in the, in the middle area, and uh, I just put it over here to see how it would do, but it doesn't seem to have really... Like it's adapting fine. See, it's all its leaves have all shifted and looks like it's doing fine. So it doesn't mind being moved around very much. And uh, yeah, so step back a little bit here, and you can kind of see the whole thing. I just see the light. Uh, so oh yeah, my fish food feeder. It's my automatic feeder. Just drop down the hole. They're all full now. There's a couple of them up here. Usually when I come in here, I, would, I move some things around and knocked a bunch of food in, so they're probably not hungry at all. So the idea is then uh, to take this this one here, this water that I have coming off the fourth one, and I'm thinking about running it up outside and then returning the water back to the tank from outside. Uh, I'm not sure how I, if I can pull that off or not, but I think I can pull it off. I think I, this uh, pump has enough power to do it since I'm <laughs> limiting to this and dumping the excess here and, and, it, and it's spraying pretty good, so it's got some good force. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I got going on here. It's my awesome growing area on the other side is my chickens of this wall here and uh just have some insulation panels and stuff for and the fish tank and, and two big barrels and a crazy grow scheme here so anyway that's all for now